Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you guys a way to do this week's lab for the final using last week's result. It's called the kill zone lab. So pretend that this image is a picture of your potato, okay? And the light spots or the light background of this petri dish or potato is growing bacteria. The white spots in the middle are little hole punches that you've saturated with some sort of antibiotic or antiseptic. And the halo or the dark part around that disc is called the kill zone or the zone of inhibition. That is where bacteria does not grow because the antibiotic on that little white disc in the middle has killed it. So you can measure the effectiveness of an antibiotic or antiseptic by how big the diameter of the kill zone is. Okay, so I am going to have one control group and you can figure out what that is. And I'm gonna have three products, Clorox. I saved this for this lab for this year. I've had it in my fridge since January. So it's probably expired, but probably still effective, we'll see. And then this was the only thing I could find at Target for our cleaner at the point. So we'll see if it even works. So what you do is you get a bowl, paper towel, post-it note or computer paper, it doesn't matter, a hole punch or you simply cut a hole out. So I want to have four discs per antibiotic or antiseptic. So cleaner or antibiotic or a combination of both. So I'll just call them cleaners, okay? They're either cleaning the inside of your body or a surface. So you're gonna have four per potato per antibiotic. So 12 total, okay? And you'll have one control potato. So I'm going to show you how to do one potato with one disc and then the rest you can do on your own. Okay, so I have four discs. Okay, now this is where you need your tweezers. If it were a lab, we'd call them forceps at school. I'm gonna put some of my amoxyl in there. I'm gonna choose my potato bag, choose this one. Okay, this is my cell phone. I don't know if you guys can see, it's most likely fungus, but there's probably some bacteria in there. So I'm just gonna be putting my four discs, maybe one, two, three, four, kind of in the corners where I got the most bacteria. So you just need a little and you do not want it to be um, splashy or splotty. You want it to be um, wet, but not with puddles on it. So take your disc and I'm gonna take my antibiotic. I'm gonna put it in like that, like so. All right, okay, I don't want those droplets on there. So I'm going to put it on the paper towel. One second, Juju, that's my daughter. Looks like that. I'm going to open my bag carefully, try not to make contact for safety. I am going to make sure, I'm just gonna pat dry it one more time. Okay, and I'm going to place it in one upper corner of my potato, like that. So I'd have four on there, one, two, three, four, all with the same antibiotics. So I have four trials and one potato. Okay, so what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna tent the bag so the bag doesn't touch the disc because that will smear your halo. Um, so you won't get a clean diameter. You should get a toothpick. I happen to know that I don't have any toothpicks in my house because I just moved and I know everything I have. So just unpack it. So I have drapery pins, that's all I have. So what I would do, is I would just simply, without touching the potato, put my drapery pin in like so. So it creates a nice tent over it so I don't smear my antibiotic, et cetera. So it would look like this. And I've got my disc on there. And this way I can successfully find the most effective product. I've also seen this where they're using essential oils like thieves oil and some oregano oil. And they have really good kill zones in a traditional lab on a Petri dish. But maybe you could recreate that at home with three essential oils and a control. So those are ideas for the lab using your results from last week.